Hi, I'm Mark with Fluke Networks, and we're going to talk about the Wi-Fi testing in the Link IQ Duo model. The first thing you need to know is there are various settings for the Wi-Fi tester. First off, I can turn on or turn off the Wi-Fi testing. And finally, I can clear out all of the information in the product relating to Wi-Fi by telling it to forget all networks. That's great if you're moving from one site to another and you don't want to take that information with you. Once I've got all my settings done, I've got three different Wi-Fi tests I can use here, but I like to start with channels. One of the most interesting ways to look at a network is to use the channel screen because it gives you an overview of everything that's going on in the Wi-Fi environment, whether you're in the 2.4, the 5 gigahertz, or even the 6 gigahertz band for the latest standards. Each dot indicates the radio in an access point. The height of the dot indicates the signal strength based on this part of the chart over here on the right. So you can see this one is somewhere a little under negative 50 dBm. The little lines coming out of each dot, you can turn on and off by using the channel overlap button. And this just shows which adjacent channels that that radio is interfering with. In this case, the bandwidth of an access point in the 2.4 gig band is 20 megahertz, but each channel is only five megahertz wide, so it will interfere with other channels adjacent to it. And there's not much traffic on this channel either, so this is a, a pretty good installation. Now this button here sets up the channel overlap display on the screen. Let's say I want to drill in on a little bit more detail. I'm going to select this access point, and now what I can see is I can see the channel utilization over time with this graph on the top. So now here is a list of the radios on this channel. Let's pick this first one and look into it and see what's going on. I can see there's a 2.4 gigahertz radio on channel one, a five gigahertz radio on channel 36. Let's touch the 2.4, and I can see right here, I can see the utilization of the channel and the signal strength of this radio over time, as well as the 802.11 technologies that it supports. Now let's say I want to know, can I connect to that access point? Can I get traffic through it? What's the performance? I can just touch one of these networks and start a test, and away we go. So now I've connected to the guest network. I can see the BSS ID of the access point I've connected to, the technologies, the fact that it's open. And now I can look at the signal strength and the transmit and receive rates that I have negotiated with the access point. Down here I can see the bandwidth of the channel, the channel range, and then down here I can see the ping. Now the ping has failed, but if we go in we can get more detail by just touching that. And you can see that I was able to get an IP address and contact the DHCP server, but my pings were blocked. When I'm done, I can hit stop, and you can save the results. You can look at them in the tester or transfer them to your PC using our Linkware PC software. In addition to looking at the channels, we can also look at the networks that we can find in the area. For example, the networks test will give me a list of all of the networks that are available from this point and I can touch here to sort them by the signal strength, the name, or their security settings. And then if I want to test the connectivity to one of those networks, I can just touch it. And you notice I can see the 802.11 technology that they support, the number of access points. And by touching one of these networks, I can go in, I can see the different radios supporting it, and then run a test just like I did before. And the other test you can run is the access point test, which gives you a list of all of the access points that the tester can see. And I can see the access points that are available from here. Once again, I can sort them in a similar fashion by signal strength, name, or channel. And then I can see which technologies they support, which frequency bands there are, which channels they're using. And once again, I can run a connection test just like I did before. Just like the Link IQ can help you solve cabling and network problems quickly, the Link IQ Duo can also help you solve your Wi-Fi problems.